Hi guys, welcome back to Read With Me, LG. Today we have Mr. Rush, and this is by Roger Hargreaves. And we're gonna read about Mr. Rush and see what's going on with him, okay? I'm glad you're here with me today, and I look forward to reading with you. Mr. Rush was the fastest thing on two feet. He used to rush here and there and there and here and back again all the time. And, of course, he was always in such a rush that he never, ever finished anything properly. One morning, he woke up with a start. He'd only had time for three hours sleep because he'd been rushing about for so long the day before. Oh, dear, he cried, leaping out of bed. I'm late. And he rushed into his bathroom and washed up not very well, and he was in a hurry, and brushed one tooth and rushed downstairs three at a time. He had a boiled egg and toast and a cup of tea for breakfast. He boiled the egg for five seconds, and it tasted awful. He toasted the bread for only one second, so it wasn't brown at all. And he couldn't bear to wait for the kettle to boil, so he made his tea with cold water. Ugh, what a terrible, horrible breakfast. And, of course, he was in such a rush, he only ate half of it. Rush, rush, rush. Silly fellow. After his half of breakfast, he rushed off again. Out his front door, leaving it open. Down his garden path. Out of his garden gate, leaving it open too. And off down the lane. He passed Mr. Happy. Good morning, Mr. Rush, called Mr. Happy. Where are you off to? Can't stop, cried Mr. Rush. I'm in too much of a hurry. I can see that, thought Mr. Happy to himself as he watched Mr. Rush disappear into the distance. I wonder where he's going. Where Mr. Rush was going was nowhere. Fast, as usual. He was in such a hurry, but to where? He rushed around all morning and then rushed home and had a quick bite to eat, a sandwich without bread, and then rushed off again and rushed around all afternoon. There he is, just in a tizzy, running around. That evening, he was reading a magazine. He never had time to read a book when he saw an advertisement for a vacation. Oh, he said, I'd like that. I haven't had a vacation in ages. But then he frowned. I can't go on vacation, he thought, because I don't have any money. And then he thought again, and he smiled. I know, he thought, I'll get a job. So he must get a job so he can get a vacation. And so the following morning, he rushed off and got a job with a farmer milking cows. But, of course, he wasn't any good at that because... If there's one thing a cow can't stand, it's being rushed, especially especially when it's being milked. So that cow said, slow down. So Mr. Rush rushed off and got himself another job, driving a bus. But of course, he wasn't any good at that. He had was always in such a rush that he never stopped at any of the bus stops. And if there's one thing people waiting at a bus stop don't like, it's when the bus doesn't stop for them. So Mr. Rush rushed off and got himself another job as a waiter but of course he wasn't any good at that either no sooner had he served people a meal and they'd taken one bite that he'd whisk away the plate from under their noses and if there's one thing hungry people can't stand it's having food whisked away from them poor mr rush no job no money oh dear he sighed to himself i'm never going to be able to take to go on a vacation he looked very glum and gloomy but then an idea came to him, an idea for a job for someone who rushes around all the time, an ideal job for someone who was the fastest thing on two feet. Do you know what that job was? Would you like to know what that job was? A postman delivering express letters. Mr. Rush was so good at it that he delivered twice as many letters in half the time as any postman had ever done before. Soon he had saved enough money for that vacation of his. And so the very next week, there was Mr. Rush on vacation, sitting on a beach in the hot sun under a palm tree. This is the life, he grinned, 
and rushed out for a swim. His 15th that day, and then it was breakfast time. That was Mr. Rush. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time for Read With Me, LG. Bye, guys.